What's up, my Nova Kingdom? It's Nova King back again. Um, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I missed a weekend. I'm sorry. I apologize. I was a little bit, sh a little bit sick and a little bit sick, you know. Got the, got the sniffles, you know what I'm saying? But I'm good now. I'm, I'm pretty much recovered and my voice and everything is pretty normal. So, I'm back to record another video. We're here with a top five list, a ranking, if you would. We're talking about the fusions today, my boys from Dragon Ball Z. Fusions are a cool thing, you know, they, they spice things up a little bit. They've acted as, as, as you know, plot twists many a times. And, uh, and I like fusions, they're cool. So we're going to talk about the main, in, the main fusions, kind of in the canon series. And, we're gonna, and then we're going to rank them. And, uh, and this is my personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments of my list and what your list is. But let's jump into it, you know, let's just go. So number five for me is Gotenks. Gotenks I've never been a huge fan of. Um... I never really liked Go Goten and Trunks, Kid Trunks at least, individually to begin with. I never really thought they were, they, I really didn't like them that much. And it didn't get much better when they turned into one person. It kind of got more annoying, you know? Like, Gotenks' whole personality is just kind of goofy and just ridiculous and just, I don't know. Like, it's a little much. And and he didn't even, he really didn't even do all that much in the fight against Boo. I mean, um... No, that's not that's not entirely true. He did fight him off and hold him off for a time being, uh, for Gohan to get done and get back to, to be the next big competitor to go up against Boo. But still, like Gotenks really didn't do too much to Boo himself, I guess. That 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 was like long term damage, I guess. Um, especially when he like ran off the first time and just got his ass kicked in base form. <laughs> he's like, I, I, he's like, I beat Boo's ass. I'll be right back. Fat Boo just completely just demolished that man just kill them um but um in super saiyan 3 go tanks is kind of cool that was that was kind of a plot twist kind of like like really cool like kind of a cool thing we got to see from go tanks but it, it really wasn't again he really didn't do too much uh while in his fusion form and so i don't know maybe that's just me i know people, some people really like go tanks but i think he's just a little goofy and and not super duper cool as far as compared to some of the other fusions we see uh so go tanks is number five on this list Coming up at number four, we have um, good old Kefla. Good old Kefla. Yep. Um, now, Kef now with Kefla, it's kind of like the same thing with Gotenks, where Khalifa and Kale, I really didn't like too much on their own. They were cool. They were female Saiyans. Like they were a new concept, as far as like you know, female Saiyans and everything. And they were in the Tournament of Power. Like it was cool to see them, but I never thought they were the coolest. You know, there's a lot more characters in Super that I find more interesting than them, but. When they fused, I like them a lot. I like Kefla a lot more than I like them individually. I like Kefla a lot. Uh, Kefla's design is really cool uh, aesthetically. You know, <laughs> aesthetically, you know, you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Kefla, 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 looking fine. She's looking thick. Um, so <laughs> maybe for some people that just skyrockets her to number one. Just thickness, thick as you know, ridic ridiculously thick. You know, um, booty. <laughs> So maybe that maybe that skyrockets her to number one just because she's fine looking, and she is pretty fine. But uh, I'm not gonna put her at number one just because of that. <laughs> I'm not that lonely. <laughs> maybe I am. I don't know. Anyway, um, so so Kefla's. But uh, jokes aside and booty aside, Kefla is pretty cool. Um, uh, aesthetically, her moves as well, like her moves, like the whole like uh, green kind of red key blast and. Her final move that she uses on Ultra Instinct Goku that she tries to use on him, all super cool. Like it looks really good, and her fight with Ultra Instinct Goku was really cool. Um, the way I don't really like the fact that Goku went Ultra Instinct for that. You know, like I get, I do understand why Kefla is so strong. I get it because you're mixing somebody like Khalifa that has all this crazy potential, someone like Goku. So it makes sense because we said we see Goku do it. So it makes sense that another female that another Saiyan from another universe could be that talented and that and have that kind of potential like Goku or Gohan um, so it makes sense that so you take that potential and then you mix it with with the kind of Super Saiyan form that in the hands of somebody else my boy Broly in the Broly movie was able to completely wreck um, two Super Saiyan blues like they were nothing you know so when you mix those kind of powers together I get why Kefla is as strong as she is at her max power to an extent, do I think it's ultra instinct worthy? Eh, it's a little iffy. I don't know. I think I, I don't. I don't know if that was quite necessary. But the fight itself was really cool. and It looked really nice. That's all I gotta say. So aesthetically, I like Kefla a lot. 
her fight was really cool, her moves are really cool, and, uh, and she's thick, so I mean, I guess there's that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so Kef was cool, green hair too when she goes Super Saiyan, I like that too. But other than that, she's not that impressive. Uh, I mean, she, she, another reason that I like her too is um, the way that it happened was it was like a really big plot twist. Like I think when, when that first was a thing that first happened, I don't think anybody expected them to fuse and save themselves from Goku's onslaught and Super Saiyan God and come back as a fused fighter. I think you know the big plot twist and that was really cool. Um, but I mean I don't know. Other than that, she doesn't play a super big role. Um, in anything else after that, she does trigger Ultra Instinct, which is pretty cool in Goku. But I don't know. Just she's really cool, and I do like her. But personality-wise, and eh, she's she gets kind of cocky too, and her fight and everything is just kind of weird. And her fighting the way she does in the beginning when she's trying to get used to it, it's all kind of weird and kind of silly at first. And she kind of reminds me of of Gotenks and the fact that she, you know it's kind of hard to take her seriously sometimes. So in her, in her, you know, her personality is kind of annoying at times, and she really didn't do too much in the long run for the tournament, I guess. I don't know. She's not a bad fusion by any means. I like her a lot, but it's just compared to what the rest of these fusions kind of did, uh, she's not the best. On the thick scale, on the thick and ridiculous scale, poof, she's up there. She's track number one. You know, she's top, she's one of the you know, best Dragon Ball waifus, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. Maybe another day, <laughs> but... Um, so, with number, uh, with that done, number three is gonna be Fuse Zamasu. Um, this is kinda close. I feel like I could kinda almost flip Kefla and Zamasu if I wanted to. Either on this, either, either or on the spectrum. Like, they're kinda close. They're kinda tied. But I did put Zamasu a little higher just cause I think his presence was a lot more, um, important to the story. And, like, he was the final guy. Like, he was the final villain, you know? Um, I guess you could say Zamasu when he was like in the atmosphere and like when he couldn't die. But the main, when you were fighting, like, the main force that you were at, that the characters were actually physically fighting against was Fuse Zamasu. He was the last, he was the final boss. And, and, and again, this is the first time we saw that um, this kind of fusion thing come into play. Kefla was to, was, did it second. The first time we were ever like plot twisted with a fusion was actually with Zamasu. And I really like Zamasu, Fuse Zamasu's design with like the white kind of like Super Saiyan-ish hair that mixes with Goku Black and everything like that. I, I really, I, I, I dig that. I like his design a lot, actually. Um, his moves are also really cool. Uh, he does like the lightning, the holy lightning stuff and the bird and <laughs> he does like the, the red, like, like red spear spike thing. Like, he has a lot of cool, interesting moves that he used against Goku and Vegeta. Uh, when we first saw him, I don't, I don't know how to describe all his moves, but they were really cool looking, and um, so aesthetically, he's really cool, kind of like what I said with Kefla. Um, I think, I don't know, I think it was cooler though because you, you, you see this kind of dilemma play out, something that Vegito actually mentions when they're fighting about how he hated mortals, but he took one into his own being and could never get rid of that because a, a, a deity was involved in the fusion, so they like, can never unfuse. And to see that actually backfire on on Zamasu in the sense that he was starting to take damage because one side of him was immortal, the other side wasn't. Like, it was just, I think that fusion had more meaning to it, more more kind of a metaphorical meaning to it, and it played a bigger role. Um, and, and the actual people that did the fusion played more of a role in how the fusion turned out kind of thing. You know, I don't know. I just I just think that more thought went into, into how Zamasu would... would Fuse Zamasu would work and everything like that. I just thought it was more interesting than what Kefla did. I don't know. Just the whole taking damage because of the mortal side thing was interesting. And, and just Vegito's lying to him about taking an immortal that he can never get rid of. Um, it, it's kind of philosophical. It's like, dang. He got you there, Zamasu. You kind of messed up. So I think it was kind of more interesting to see those kind of factors play out with that fusion. Whereas Kefla was just kind of, you know, yelling and fighting a bunch. But, um... I don't know, but so that's 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 I think that's kind of what tips the scale a bit for me and puts Zamasu above Kefla. Um, but yeah, he's super cool, and the only and his ending was kind of kind of ridiculous too, with like the fact that I don't know, like Z Vegito wasn't the one that beat him, but it was like Trunks with the spear, any sort of hope spirit bomb sword thing. I I don't know, kind of weird the way they ended that fight, kind of weird the way they killed off. 
I mean, it was cool to watch, and it was really fun to watch, and it was kind of hyped up, but once you actually kind of thought about it, it was a little silly. I think they could have handled the ending to that a little better, and I might talk about that in a uh, another video some other time, but, um, but other than that, I really like Zamasu, and he's a really cool fusion, and just because of his, um, just because of those, those factors we see with, like, a mortal being fused in and kind of how that played a psychological role like Vegito kind of used that as like mental warfare I'm like hey you know you just took an immortal and stuff like that and the way Zamasu tried to like combat that that comment like I don't know I think just that fusion had a bit was more impactful in the story and we got to see more of it more out of it and could think more about it than what we would were given with Kefla but that's just me. I might even I might not be making any sense. It's kind of hard to get my thoughts out into words. Um, you know, <laughs> words they're pretty difficult sometimes. Um, <laughs> but that that's that's uh, Zamasu number three. Number two is gonna be Vegito. It's gonna be the boy Vegito. Um, Vegito is really cool. Vegito is the first. Uh, not, he's not the first fusion we see, but he was the biggest powerhouse we ever saw in Z. Like counting fusions Vegeta was the strongest character in Z and that's pretty crazy to think about um he was really really strong and his fight with uh Bu Han was really cool um there's a lot of interesting factors about that fight with like him getting turned into candy and fighting as a piece of candy like it was just it was just cool like Vegito's Vegito the way that he was kind of shown to us and in the way that he made his appearance with Bu Han and how confident he was and uh, fighting against Buhan, like it was really cool to see to see Vegito, to see this fusion between the two strongest fighters that we've that we've grown to know. Um, well, the strongest would have been Gohan and Goku, but you know Gohan messed that up. Um, <laughs> but uh, um, but yeah, Vegito was really cool, and it get and you know and it gets um, revisited, and we get to see an even cooler side of Vegito when we get Vegito Blue in Super when he fights against uh, Zamasu. So. Um, it, but the, the thing that kind of holds that back from its greatness is Vegito really didn't play that big of a part. He literally was in like a quarter, a quarter of an episode, and then he was gone. Like, it just kind of, I don't know, didn't get to like win against anybody. Like, he fought off Zamasu, and I think if they had the time, he definitely would have won that fight, but he didn't have the time and just kind of ran out. And we kind of got cucked with, with that. You know, we were all hyped up for Vegito Blue, then it just kind of ended just, just as quickly as it came. Um... But we got to see a lot of cool stuff from him when he was fused, like his line to Zamasu about being mortal and just kind of the mind games that he played with Zamasu and just kept like just verbally attacking him and just, you know, just being really uh, over, you know, just really confident and talking about, you know, they were talking about like who the god was and, you know, whatever. Like there was a lot of banter that went on that Vegito spit out at Zamasu that was really cool and he really tried to to mess with Zamasu with that kind of language and basically did the one thing that we all wanted to do uh, to Zamasu during the Goku Black Arc, Black Arc, which was shut him up. And uh, and for the little time that he was on screen, his fight with Fuse Zamasu was really, really cool. So when you take the Z aspect of it and the super aspect of Vegito Blue, it was Vegito really was really cool. And uh, every time he was on screen, he did he was always doing something really. Uh, really really cool and just badass and just kind of cocky and just I don't know like he he was cool but that, again that's also the part of why I don't like him as much as his personality takes more to the really cocky arrogant Saiyan side and he kind of doesn't get things finished which might you, you could argue maybe that's why he didn't beat uh, Zamasu maybe if he would have just kept fighting instead of you know talking that good talk to him uh, <laughs> may have been able to fin finish things himself but uh, Still really cool, cool moves like Spirit uh, Stored and stuff like that. Final Comment Hamiha, but um, I like his outfit a lot too. The mix of Goku and Vegeta's co uh, costume is really cool, but uh, he really doesn't play as big a role as far as like taking out villains. Like he really never beat any villain, uh, really. If you honest, if you kind of think about it, and I think that they kind of took a lot of the potential away from Vegito. And his personality is kind of iffy because he kind of takes more to the arrogant Saiyan side and uh, plays around a lot. So it's kind of hard to, to always root for him when he could finish things a lot quicker than he than he chooses to. But um, but that's Vegito at number two. Number one, I'm assuming you guys already knew this, a lot of you, because 
talked about it in a lot of videos, and it's even the title of one of my videos, I think. Um, and that is number one being Gogeta, my boy. I I don't know, man. And this isn't just I'm not like a, I'm not like a like I jumped on the bandwagon like it, the Dragon Ball Super movie. Nah, I'll be. I liked Gogeta more back in the days of like Fusion Reborn, man. Like I don't know, like I don't know what it was, but I always I've always liked Gogeta better than than I liked Vegito. I don't know. Gogeta's done more. Like he actually beat both the people he fought both canon and non-canon like boy when he got fused up just start beating Janimba's ass man like oh my god just finished him real quick like as short as it was it was a really really cool little fight scene that he had with Janimba just the whole like soul punisher thing like, it was just super cool like Gogeta is just so such a badass he like I don't know like I just like him so much I like his attitude better of how he just kind of gets in and takes care of business um in Fusion Reborn and I just loved him and I his, his out, the, the, uh, fusion dance, uh, the Metamoran, uh, clothing is really cool. Um, so I like his outfit a lot too. Um, but it, but it really gets better. It, it really does get better with Super. Um, when the Broly movie came out, I found my boy Gogeta was getting the canon, man. Like, it was just ridiculous. That, that was my favorite part about that movie. Like, the Broly movie is like my favorite movie of all time. And, Gogeta is a big part of that. Like they made my boy, my boy Cannon, and just he looks so good. Ah oh, man, um, I love. But yeah, he was just so cool. And and, and you can you can kind of say that part of this is because it was the movie and it had better visuals. But I think go go both of Gogeta's fights. Well, maybe not both, but definitely his fight against Broly was way cooler and way more intense and way more impactful. Than anything Vegito really did, I guess. Um, I don't know, man. Like, just whether it be base form for a little bit, his Super Saiyan form, blue form, like, just everything Gogeta did in, Bro in the Broly movie was amazing. It's just super, super cool. He, oh man, like, Soul Punisher is such a cool move. Man, it's it's different. It's a it's his unique move, kind of like how Vegito has Spirit Sword. And I know this has been a debate forever about Vegito, Gogeta. Um, but I've always liked Gogeta more. I don't know why. I can't necessarily give you facts as to why he's better. I just personally enjoy Gogeta a lot more and think he's a lot cooler. And I like his attitude of just getting it and getting it done. Like, Gogeta Blue went in there and beat Broly, somebody far stronger than Zamasu who fused, and just beat his ass like he was nothing. Come on, Vegito, pick up the slack. I mean, come on. Look at, look at Gogeta doing work out here. That's why he's better, man. <laughs> just doing work out here, putting some, put some respect on his name. Um, but yeah, I love Gogeta. Super, super cool. My favorite fusion. The best fusion in, in Dragon Ball. Um, in my humble opinion. But, um, yeah, I love, I love Gogeta. Super, super cool. And, um, yeah, I guess, I guess that's my list. Uh, you guys can get mad at me if you want. Feel free, you know. Um, and I'll even start more war, actually. Hold on, just let me, let me, I think that Gogeta would probably... You know, even though it's kind of been confirmed that they're that both would be the same strength, I think that's bull. I think Ogita beat Vegito's ass. Just saying, just saying. I hope you guys like that little bit of ASMR. But now you, but now you're angry. Now you're angry. And, but I'm just saying that's the truth. Don't at me. Um, <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I appreciate it. Sorry, I've been gone for a little while. School, you know, it's been kind of my junior year. Been a little rough. Not rough, but it's just been busy. And uh, but I'm back now. So. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Next weekend, I'll be able to get another video up, hopefully. Next video should be a fighter's video with my boy Gogeta Blue, speaking of, as a DLC character. So get hyped up for that, my guys. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this Fusions video. Let me know your favorite Fusions, Fusions you'd like to see that we never got to see, maybe. Um, anything about Fusion, anything Fusion related. You know what? Heck, I don't care. Anything. Let's just talk about whatever in the comments. You can tell me how much... How, how stupid I am or you know how, how sniffly my nose is I'm cool with that I'm just I'm, that's, let's just talk about it <laughs> um, but yeah thanks so much guys I appreciate it I'm glad that I'm always I'm always happy to get to sit down and talk to myself to a mic about Dragon Ball it's always a good time so um, I hope you guys enjoyed remember to uh, like the video comment all that good stuff and um, yeah remember to stay positive enjoy life because you only get one shot at it it's Nova King from the Nova Kingdom and I will see you guys in the next video Peace.